Prayer for Forgiveness and Repentance Are you burdened with uncertainties and worries about the unforeseeable future? Or the burden of sins? Or the burden of unanswered prayers? Or is your burden about your eternity? Where you're going to spend it? Or is it about regrets about the seemingly wasted past? Or is it about the future of your wards, children, and dependents? Well, if any or all of those are your worries, I want to tell you to worry no more. I have got good news for you. Your future is captured in the scriptures. God has got good plans for you. And his plans for you hadn't staled nor gone bad provided you can repent today and make the needed amendments. Those things you think are real-time big problems are really no big issues with God. Now, hear what God has got to tell you. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 1 Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. Isaiah 59 verse 2 says, But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. God is able, abundantly able and capable, ever willing to help us out of every perceived and unperceived problems, troubles and predicaments. But sins and unbelief many times are the limiting and militating factors. Just as we read, sin has always been a prohibitive force and a barrier against our prayers and other good wills and plans of God for us. Sins limit how much God can help us or answer our prayers. In Psalm 78 verse 41, the Bible says, Yea, they turned back and tempted God, and limited the Holy One of Israel. See that? That God can be limited from helping us by the reasons of sins or iniquities. Not repented for and asking for forgiveness. Because the Bible has already made it clear through Isaiah as we previously read. And the psalmist in Psalm 66 verse 18, where it says, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. God does not answer prayers made with sins and iniquities not repented of. But the good news, however, is that God is always available and willing to accept and receive us back if we can repent, confess and ask Him for forgiveness. If we can ever come to Him like the prodigal son in Luke chapter 15, from verses 11 to 32. And if we can do that, He will receive and forgive us just like the father of the prodigal son. Our God is ever ready, willing and delighted to forgive us and restores our rights and privileges in Himself, including answers to our prayers. In 1 John chapter 1 verses 8 through 10, he says, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. And in Isaiah chapter 1, from verses 18 to 19, and Isaiah chapter 55 verse 7. He called on us to repent and to come back to him. He even proffered solutions by stating what we should do to earn his acceptance and approval. Also, for a new enhanced, harmonious and luxuriating relationship with him. So that he could help us, rescue and restore us, including what we have lost without him. This he indicated when he says in Isaiah chapter 1. Verses 18 through 19. Come now, and let us reason together, saith the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. And in Isaiah chapter 55 verse 7, he proffers a solution for a new and renewed better relationship with God, that will favor us. He thought us how to reconcile with him for our own good and betterment. He says, let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. That is the repentance that God needs and requires of us, for him to make all things right again with us. Don't neglect this great offer of privilege again. So join me to pray to accept this golden privilege and offer. For as we pray this prayer of repentance and forgiveness, all our hanging and delays blessings and helps, and whatever has been denied us by the reasons of sins and traps of Satan, the devil, 
shall be released unto us. And our fortunes and favor shall be restored. In the name of Jesus Christ, our futures and destinies shall be rearranged and realigned to the divine plans and purposes of God. And the wounds, injuries, hurts and bruises that we might have sustained, as occasioned and orchestrated by the devil or sins shall be bandaged and healed. In the name of Jesus. And our long-awaited expectations, miracles and answers to our prayers shall be given and granted in haste. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, I come unto you this hour in the name of your Son my Lord Jesus Christ, who I have accepted and have been exercising faith and hope in his redemptive sacrifice. As your word already said in 1 John chapter 1 verse 8 through 10, that if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But that, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And that, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Father I admit, I have sinned, and I come unto you their Lord after the order of your word of 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 that says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Therefore dear Father Lord, yours I am and unto thee, I come this hour. Lord, I come in humility and humbleness praying dear Lord and seeking your face. Having decided to turn from every wicked thing that I know and do. Therefore dear Lord, forgive my every sin, sins of commission, or of omission, known and unknown sins, forgive me dear Lord. Heal and deliver me from every consequence of sins. In the name of Jesus Christ your Son. Help me to henceforth live a life worthy of a true follower of Christ. Write my name dear Lord in the book of life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Like the psalmist O Lord, I pray you. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, the only, have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean, wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it, thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion, build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness. Now I pray for you, Lord, I pray for my listeners, who have recognized and understand the importance and need of living right and obeying you O Lord. And as such have returned to you in repentance asking you for forgiveness. Lord, I pray you to forgive them and restore all their rights and privileges in you. In the name of Jesus Christ, remove their names from the book of death and write their names in the book of life. Perfect everything concerning them from now henceforth O God. These I ask of you for my every listener. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Drop your prayer request. Our prayer warriors will take your request to God. 
kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Also, our team will appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends on social media. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.